you want to start? Uh, my name is Angelo. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me your full name, please? Yeah, my name is Binka Satyaksa. Okay, so what is your nickname? My nickname, Binka. Okay, can you spell it? Yeah, P A N K A. Okay. Uh, can I see your ID card, please? Yeah, first. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now let's go to part one. Mm -hmm. Okay, in part one, I'm going to ask you about uh, yourself. Okay? Yeah. It's about uh, sport. Yeah. Okay. Tell about a sport that is interesting to you. Mm, especially, you know, most of the Indonesian people yeah. love to play soccer. So because of that, I prefer to play soccer too, because it's really increase our stimulation mm -hmm. to be uh, a good or help people. Okay. Do you like to play uh, this sport? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I like to play this uh, sport, but sometimes I prefer to watch the mm -hmm. sport because yeah, I have no time to play the sport because I'm a person, I'm a bus busy person. Okay, <laughs> so do you follow professional teams about skill or activities uh, or character? Actually, no, because no? I just mm -hmm. prefer to watch this play. So I'm in the soccer mm -hmm. on TV. Okay, so why do you like this uh, this sport? <clears throat> Yeah, I think this sport is good for me mm -hmm. because I see from the another perspective. Like to be applied, uh, to be a player in a soccer, you know, it's not limit there to be a sport, to be a sport uh, actor or sport actor in apply in the soccer, but also they could be a celebrity, so they can bring uh, and make uh, make new. I mean, set the their characteristic to be good people or good role model for another people mm -hmm. so so what is your other sport that is interesting to you it's about uh, uh it's all about sport too yeah, sport. but it's different uh -huh. uh, yeah a different kind of sport especially uh when i was in my senior high school mm -hmm. on a football team so because of that i really enjoyed that sport because and at times the togetherness also mm -hmm. must be included to be a team and also I got one prize from that competition from that okay. softball competition so do you enjoy uh, playing sport in outdoor activities yeah sometimes okay because it's Why? really keep my skin uh -oh. tone uh -uh. sometimes <laughs> yeah okay okay so in your city or town mm -hmm. here what kind of places are available for sport and other outdoor activities. Yeah, especially in my hometown, mm -hmm. in my country, I would describe about it because yeah, our government provide a lot of facilities like public space mm -hmm. uh, in our downtown. So because of that, our especially Asian people could bring their family, the member or the friend to uh, to do sport or to do, play something in that place. Okay, so what kind of things mm -hmm. do you enjoy doing on weekends? Uh, because I'm a shopaholic, mm -hmm. so I prefer to shopping, uh, especially uh, in another countries like Singapore, because it's very near from my hometown, mm -hmm. and the ticket is cheap for me. Okay, Yeah. so do you generally prefer to spend your time at home or go out to to the other place mm, i prefer to go out to another place because uh -huh. when i go to another place uh -huh. i could learn i could learn uh new things like new characteristics from another or from various background various people background and i could get new information that really expand my knowledge especially about the city and about the characteristic of people yeah okay so who do you like to spend time mm -hmm. with on your days uh, days off? Who do you like mm -hmm. to spend time with on your days off? On days off, I prefer my mom mm -hmm. because my mom always give me advice like uh, what is the best place to mm -hmm. visit and yeah. what is uh, the best store to buy something because we are we have the same uh, characteristic and we have the same like the same uh, favorite thing to do together. Okay, so now let's go to part two. Yeah. Okay, in a part two, uh, I'm going to give you a topic, mm -hmm. and you will prepare for me. It's about uh, a relative who you are like. Yeah. 
describe a relative who you are like. Right now I'm going to describe a person mm-hmm. relative with and very close with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's my lecturer. Yeah. And, uh, the name is uh, Miss Isia. I really admire uh, his, her because she she always tried to give me a motivation to become a good person, especially not only become an architect student, but also how I could be the one that really thrill to help other people. Mm-hmm. I. I'm, I have a good uh, relationship with her because and at times as the architecture student in the department, uh, she, al- she always gives me an opportunity like to, to create one platform in that city, I mean in my hometown. Yeah. I create uh, one platform that called counseling, uh, I mean that called information and counseling center. So from that, co- from that platform, I could share everything and I could uh, and all of the Chinese people could access new things like new information especially about the health condition about the education and also about how to prepare yourself in the future um, we are I'm with uh, her very close because I do a lot of project too with her like I do a small project where if the another uh, lecture from another university like like in the last year, like in the past, in the last year, mm-hmm. I do a small project that related to my background architecture uh, with lecture from the New Zealand, New Zealand, Victoria University. So from that, I think it's real, really increased my awareness with, with, with them, especially mm-hmm. with my lecture, who I, I admire. And why? I think uh, this is a good thing for me to share my inspiration with her because yeah like I said before she always try to make me a good person she always try to give me advice mm-hmm. and always uh, as a good motivator for me to being a good a role model especially not o- not only for the small scale but also uh, in, in the large scale because she know I'm a person who want to be a mayor in the future so yeah I think that's all. Okay. Okay, so now let's get to part three. Okay, in part three, we're going to discuss here. Uh, it's about relatives here. Mm-hmm. Uh, because you have been talking about a relative who you, who you are like. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now uh, we're going to discuss here. Do you enjoy spending the time with relatives? Mm, of course, because like I said before, like mm-hmm. uh, I said before, my relative or a person who I admire mm-hmm. is my lecturer. A person would stand always behind me to support mm-hmm. me. So it's really nice to spend time with her. Okay. So what types of tradition do you mm-hmm. and your relatives have? Yeah, like a tradition, we always do like uh, spend our time together to mm-hmm. sharing something, 
like right now I'm a per, I'm a first graduate, so I really want I uh, actually discuss about my master programs in the future. So we do a lot of uh, we share everything. We share every, a lot of information about what universities that sweat on me, and how her can give me new opportunity. I mean, new access with another lecture. Okay. So do you think family members are mm -hmm. more important than friends? Yeah, of course. Okay, because why? for me, family mm -hmm. is best, the best leadership school. Mm -hmm. And the family, uh, like in my personal, family is a person, I mean, family is a platform who always uh, told me how to be a formidable personality and how to be a good person. Okay. So do you think that having a good relationship with relatives mm -hmm. is important to most people? Of course, because yeah. if a person have good relative with another's, I mean good relationship, mm -hmm. so they could uh yeah, they could make her make him or I mean they could make her or him to be to share everything with him. Okay. So how do relatives of or family mm -hmm. Our family members help each other. Uh, based on based on my experience, mm -hmm. like my sister and my brother, they always support me when I got uh, the bad things, like in my grade, when I was in my undergraduate programs. So because of that, I think they really, uh, they they are a person like always give me advice and good things to increase my uh, intention, especially in learn and to live. Okay, so do you agree or disagree? Families are not as important they used to be. Sorry? Okay, families are not as important as they used to be. Do you agree or disagree? Mm, actually, I don't agree with that statement. Okay. Because for me, like I said before, family is a good thing that will increase your awareness and the thoughts about love, about humility, about the togetherness. Okay, so how are families now different from families in the past? I think it based on the it based on the condition mm -hmm. of that family. Yeah. Like in my family, my mother always tried to keep and secure the family to be uh to be always uh, do the traditional or the tradition on that family. Like always must uh, admire or always must uh, I mean uh, appreciate a, a sister and brother or the parents, uh, but maybe in the in the future it will change. But okay. in my in my condition, in my family condition, it's same with the past. Okay. So how do you think families will change in the future? Yeah, sometimes I think yeah. family uh -huh. will change in the future. Like in this global area, a lot mm -hmm. of people try to get they try to increase the capacity and quality of life so sometimes like in our country our country we know is uh not very very open very open i mean in terms of the the uh, the the equality like to make a quality between women and men so because of that sometimes it will change by that intention to change their quality of life okay is families mm -hmm. here the same in every country? Uh, of course, it's different. Difference. Difference. Okay. But the meaning of family is this, is same mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Family is a platform that could encourage you. Okay. How can I be? Mm, yeah, I think it, to compare with my in uh -huh. my in my fa in my family, family like I said before is like a per like a platform that will encourage you to be a good person or to to facilitate you how to be uh how to be what you want to be and maybe in the, another country family is, is have the same meaning but mm -hmm. maybe yeah they have different perspective on family okay thank you i'm sure